Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris. Here's a look at today's top stories. Solon High School's principal Aaron Short is on paid administrative leave amid a police investigation. The school district superintendent sent parents a message saying the investigation involves a claim about her conduct from more than a decade ago. The nature of the claim is unclear. Short released a statement through her lawyer denying the allegation. The Kansas City School Board is expected to vote tonight on a plan addressing the declining number of students and deficit spending. The Design for Excellence plan would move students in certain grades to other buildings, making class sizes larger, and at the same time reduce the number of staff needed. Tonight's meeting is scheduled for 5.30 and will be live streamed on the Canton City School District's website. Now for a look at your weather, here is Elise Dolanar. Well, happy Wednesday, everyone. Not too bad as we've started the day. We've been seeing temperatures warm. They used to a warm front that's lifted through. We're now waiting on the cold front to move through. With the warm front, we're seeing temperatures into the 50s across the area. But as soon as that front does cross, we are going to be seeing some rain showers moving into the area. And temperatures will be dropping into the mid to upper 40s for your evening. We're also going to be seeing a few rain showers moving in thanks to that front. It's also going to be impacting our temperatures for tomorrow. We are going to dry out, see a little bit of sunshine, but you can see highs tomorrow right around 35 degrees. So we are going to be taking a drop in those temperatures. Here's the thing, though. Yes, we're staying dry. We'll stay that way for your Friday as well. By Friday, already starting to see temperatures back in the 40s. Then we are going to be seeing 50s for the weekend. Unfortunately, though, we've got some rain showers moving in as well. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.